Well, that does seem to make sense. Though something about it is bugging me. Can't quite put my finger on it. Really? It seems pretty simple to me. Objection! Oh, did you figure it out? Air for it. Don't destroy what the little respect I have for you. You let you have respect for us? Seriously? Shocking. I was expecting something a little more sensible. I guess I was wrong. What is he talking about? What's this all about, Miss Prosecutor Gavin? His simple story simply makes no sense. Think that night Makuta R caught fire, yes? The cause may have been this, indeed. However, the guitar caught fire during the second set. I can that's right, of course. The guitar caught fire during Lamar's song. Indeed, the other shooting happened during the third set. The two are utterly unrelated. Hmm, yes, that must have been what was bugging me. The whole premise for this is faulty. See? His story makes no sense. Objection! Huh? Are you sure about that? His eyes are so wide. What exactly do you mean, Mr. Justice? Maybe it's not the premise for my explanation for the switch there that's at fault. Maybe it's our premise for the entire case so far. Oh my gosh, Apollo, you're so smart. What premise is this specifically? I'm glad you asked. I'm saying that maybe the killing didn't take place in the third act. Objective. What's this? The detective Emma Sky heard shots and found the body. All of this happened in the third act. Objection, objection. Gunsha gunshots rang out, and according to his testimony, Mashi was in that dressing room at the time. Where are you going with this, Mr. Justice? Stay with me, Your Honor. He also told us this in his testimony, namely that the victim had already been shot. In broken English, we all heard gunshots, but no one saw the shooting. This, this is insane. This, this whole game is insane. Just before the shooting took place, the shooter was heard on his headset. Telling someone to press the switch. The next moment, Prosecutor Gavin's guitar burst into flame. We know that a remote which triggered igniter was inside the guitar. From all these facts, we can draw only one conclusion. The crime did not take during the third act. But during the ballad performance, the second act. What? Doom 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 doom. Yeah, I'll, I'll start stop being silly. Oh no, oh no, oh no! But, but that goes against the evidence! What does, Your Honor? This crime was carried according to the lyrics of that song, yes? Hey, he's right, look! The bullet is supposed to come after the fire! You're thinking about it the wrong way. Huh? Huh? What's going on? What's going on? Look! Why would the shooter craft the events of the day to follow the lyrics anyway? It's an awful lot of trouble to go through. With little merit for the person doing it. Well, I'm sure that whoever it was had some reason. Yes, they did. Not because he was crazy. A reason that made it advantageous. Advantageous. I don't know to follow the lyrics. You're saying the order was reversed on purpose? Hmm. Reverse, Prostate Gavin? If the criminal followed the lyrics strictly, then yes. The shooting would have had to come after the guitar burst into flame. Yet, Air Forehead has raised another possibility. He's claiming that the bullet came not after, but just before the fire. Couldn't have put it better myself. We were only meant to think that the shooting came after the guitar burst into flame. That was the criminal's objective. What a crazy killer and pretty smart, I guess. The crime followed the extent point, but that was the fr the ruse. Why else would the killer risk the scar by moving the body? That was the final touch to make us think he followed the lyrics the whole way. What a crazy killer. Oda, oda, oda! That would explain this most unusual situation! It does! The killer changed the order of events to create himself an alibi! In other words, the killer was someone who had an alibi th for the third act, but not for the second. Or, but not the second. No, oh, music is gone now. I was hoping it wouldn't come to this. But sadly, it has. Let me tell you why your little fairy tale makes no sense at all. More fairy tales? Oh, it sounds good. I'll give you that. You've given us a reason why the killer bothered following the lyrics of my song. But I question your logic. For it's flawed from the very beginning. Flawed? 
Yes, a contradiction error for Ed, one I've pointed out several times, no less. At this time of the crime, this small window of the scene was closed. How could Lamar have heard the voice through it? Oh, I know that you would like to divert our attention from this critical fact. But you're basing your entire line of reason on a false premise. Right. Darn it. Lamar's testimony is my entire case. That voice she heard, the shooter's voice. W what if she couldn't hear Apollo? Look, what do we have? A man saying, press the switch. And near the crime scene, we have a switch, which acts as a remote trigger for an igniter. And last but not least, Prosser Gavin's flaming guitar. It can't all be a coincidence, but how do I make it work? I see a more direct line of questioning is required. When the crime scene was investigated, immediately after the crime, that window was closed. Care to tell us how Lamar heard the voice? Hmm. A key point, to be sure. Mr. Justice, can you explain this to the court? One thing to prove, and one thing only. Lamar heard a voice, and she heard it during the second set. Think, how is Lamar able to hear the voice? Uh, the window's open, she has divine hearing. Well, she does, but still, she was somewhere else. I'll pick this one because it's usually the third. <laughs> one, not really, is it? Seems like, anyway. When we investigated the scene, the window was closed. The shooter had no reason to close it, had it been open either. Meaning, it was impossible to hear the voice through that window. Ah, it's good to hear you making sense again. For a moment, I was afraid you might be a Virginian too. Hey, what does that supposed to mean? You think all in Virginia is like... Stupid, or something? As I was saying, Lamar could not hear the voice through that window. So, there can be only one explanation. She heard the voice from another location entirely! Awesome music is back! Yes! It means we're on a roll. What's this? Haha, <laughs> you do amuse me so. And here I thought you and good sense were back on speaking terms. Now, I'm afraid you and good speak s s uh, you and good sense speak two di entirely different languages. Shall I interpret for you, Air Forehead? Lamar Clear says she heard the voice through that small window. And there is only one small window at the scene. Are you sure? Think about it. Isn't there another small window at the scene? In quotations. Th there is! Ah, I know that. Look, he wants us to ask him. Very well. You claim Glamour heard the voice from another location? Mr. Justice, show us where this location was. Um, I heard the voice from here. Well, not here. But... Here. It's kind of hard to get to it, but it's here. Just get as close as you can. Ah, no, I did not mean to go back. The epicness is too much to bear. And I'm messing up. This is where Lamar heard that voice from. But, but that's no small window. That's an air vent. Yeah, the crowd goes wild. Not really. What did she tell us? She says she's a Virginian, unfamiliar with our language. It's not a stretch to imagine she called this air vent a small window. Objection! Now you've done it. You've got beyond ridiculous and into luxurious. Uh, ludicrous, sorry, I can't read. So Lamar was up in the ventilation system listening to this man's voice? That's the only logical explanation, yes. Logical? I do not think this word means what you think it means, air forehead. Okay, what about it is illogical? Probably merits saying. Will Lamar be in the ventilation system? Hide it like a rat. No offense intended to her, of course. The explanation for that is simple, Prosser Gavin. Isn't it, Lamar? Well, was she here the entire time and never said anything? You yeah, have been listening to our discussion here, yes? Yes. Well, if she wasn't asked to speak, then I guess she can't say anything. I admit, it had, it's had me quite confused since yesterday. Yes, the small window was closed, but why would, but, but why should that mean I cannot hear through it? I feared a prostitute might himself need an interpreter. Burn! Burn! <laughs> Whatever. The problem here is words. Lamar, this small window through which you, you heard the voice. Was it up high? On the ceiling of the room? Not low on a wall? Yes, it was up on the ceiling. What? 
Wow, that's 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 just crazy. Gavelness. Order, order! I will have order. No, you don't. Uh, I don't know. Mm. Witness, you will clarify this statement to the court. Are you, in fact, saying that you were up above the ceiling of the room, and that's where you heard the moment of the crime? Yes, in fact, it was. I am sorry. I never imagined it would become such an important point. Yes, well, why the heck were you up there? I need a burp. Ah. I believe it's time for another testimony. I... I'm not sure I... I can't. Mayor, mind you, this is a murder trial. Murder trial. <laughs> we will hear your testimony. Tell us why you witnessed the crime from above the ceiling of that room. Please. Well, looks like I'm on the right track. Above the ceiling. Hiding like a rat. No offense to her. Oh, uh, whatever. Yes, I was about to say when I heard the voice. I hadn't heard there was a, a small window there before. I was in the middle of my performance. I had no time to report what I had heard as to why I was there. I cannot say. I am bound to secrecy on this matter. Seriously? The bound to secrecy? In my line of work, one has many obligations to uphold. But you say you were in the middle of your performance. So this did happen during the second set. I did not witness the crime, you must understand. I only know what I heard. Yes, but you must tell us what you were doing in detail. That's why the cross-examination is... Uh, that's what the cross-examination is for, yeah, here for head. Our mission is in this court is to discern the truth. No obligation, no binding pact may hinder that mission. Hmm, very well. Mr. Justice, you may begin the cross-examination. Well, what are you going to do, Apollo? I'm going to find out the truth. She was up above that city for a reason. I just have to get it out of her. Press, press, press! Hmm. She heard was above the ceiling when she heard the voice. Okay. Above the, above the ceiling. Could you be more specific? I cannot. Because you're bound to secrecy? Yes. To tell the truth, I was not supposed to even say I was above the ceiling. I dare not say more. It's not like I'll be able to coax it out of her just by asking. Maybe, pre maybe presenting or something. She heard it. So she heard there was a small window. By small window, you mean the air vent? I only remembered I needed to be careful of where I put my hands and feet. I cannot see the light coming through the window, of course. The air vent great could trip you up, it's certainly. So I was walking very carefully when I heard the gunshots. Startled, I crouched and listened. That is when I heard his voice come from the room. Darian's voice. I knew something terrible had happened, yet... It was in the middle of my performance. I had no time to report what I heard. Oh, right. hmm. So without a word, you just let the third set start? After the correction closed with the second set, there was so much to do. You could have prevented this whole misunderstanding if you had to only told us sooner. Yes, perhaps I could have. I see a little point in badgering the witness. What's done is done. The mind works differently when one is in the middle of a performance. Why? I have lost my voice in the middle of a show and kept on saying, completely unaware. Saying without voice? If only all conjectures were so obvious. If only I could get Lamar to talk. Pressure her like this doesn't seem to be getting me anywhere. Press, present, I guess. Let's see what was there. She can't say. You have you heard the gunshots during the second set during performance. You quite sure? Yes. Why would I lie about the time? Why did you tell us this yesterday? No one asked me. I thought you all knew. Hmm. I told you Masha was not the killer. I told you this many times. Yes, you did. But you never told us why. Yeah, you could have said that because Masha was uh, performing, you know. I'm sorry. I was not able to speak of it. Unable or unwilling? She's not talking, Paula. What do we do? Yeah, I guess pressing won't help. We'll just have to prove it ourselves. As long as she is bound by this fact of science, she won't talk. But if I can prove why she was up there, she'll have to admit it. How are we going to do that? She was singing on the stage, Paolo. She can have been up above the ceiling, too. Yes, she could. I've got a theory as to why, too. I 
maybe we have good evidence to prove it. Okay, after going through the whole uh, testimony, you will get to this part. Someone was bound to secrecy. It's going to take some hard-hidden proof to make her talk. I think I know why she was up there. But how do I do? How do I do it? How do I? But what? How do I prove it? Sorry. At the end of the testimony, you'll hear. Or you'll see Apollo and Juicy talking, and he, they will give you a little hint of what to do. <clears throat> That's why they say to present something. Okay, if she was. In the middle of her performance, when, what time could she have been up there? Yep. Yes. The video tape. Well, yeah. <clears throat> Lamar, to be truth be told, the reason for her presence above that scene is quite clear. Especially when you considered what happened during her performance. What happened? 